everyone, this is Miff, your life and performance coach, and welcome to the Actually You Can podcast. Actually You Can is more than just a fun phrase to say. It's a philosophy of limitless potential, a mindset, an attitude, a conviction. Most importantly, it's about to make you achieve what you might never have thought possible. On this show, we discuss strategies for growth for ambitious individuals looking to achieve big things and live a thriving, fulfilled life. You'll hear from inspiring guests who will share their journeys, challenges, and lessons learned. And I'll be sharing insights and actionable takeaways from my Aligned Results Framework that will help you to align your goals, mindset, and strategies to reach your highest potential. So be sure to hit subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to so you can easily find this podcast again and stay updated with new episodes dropping every week. Welcome back to the show. In this episode, we're going to dive into the topic of goal setting and achievement. Have you ever set a goal, felt determined to achieve it, but then fell short or didn't make any progress? This is a common experience and it's one that I've both witnessed and experienced myself. To better understand why this happens and how we can overcome it, I decided to do some research and reflection. In this episode, I'll share what I've learned and offer some practical tips to help increase the chance that you'll take action towards your goals in 2024. So most of the time, we don't achieve a goal because it's not aligned with our beliefs or current reality. When we set a really big goal that is so far from our current reality, our brain can perceive this as threatening and create resistance and cause us to engage in self-sabotaging behaviors. This is called cognitive dissonance, and it is the term which we use to describe a mental conflict that occurs when our beliefs don't line up with our actions. So you could be taking actions towards your big goals, but because you don't have the beliefs that support your ability to achieve this goal, your unconscious mind will start to look for ways to create self-sabotage and resistance. This is because our brain's primary function is to keep us safe and change, even positive change, can be perceived as a threat to our survival. However, we can overcome this resistance by using our imagination. Stick with me for a moment here. As children, we would have engaged in imagination and visualization a lot. And at some point down the track, as we become adults, we stop imagining and visualizing. But by visualizing ourselves achieving the goal and experiencing the emotions and sensations associated with it, we can create a new neural pathway in our brain that makes the goal feel more familiar and achievable. Because our subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what is imagined and what is real. So for example, if your big goal is to start a new business, you can imagine yourself confidently showing up on your sales call and converting every client you speak to. You can imagine a full calendar of clients and what your ideal day looks like. By repeating this visualization regularly, you can train your brain to see this goal as achievable and reduce the mental resistance that may be holding you back. So take a moment to imagine yourself achieving your goal. Visualize what it will look and feel like in as much detail as possible. Take into account each of the five senses. What are you hearing? What can you see? What can you hear? What can you touch? What can you feel? And are there any tastes associated with your goal? This exercise is important because it helps align your subconscious mind with your conscious desires. Although logically you know that achieving your goal won't cause harm, your subconscious mind may still be holding onto fear, guilt, or shame that is preventing you from moving forward. By envisioning yourself successfully accomplishing your goal and experiencing the positive emotions associated with it, you can begin to reprogram your subconscious mind and overcome any hidden resistance. This is the reason why this is one of the first things I do with each of my one-on-one clients. Before we get into any sort of strategy work or action taking, we ensure that they have the belief systems to support their big goal to increase the chances of the strategies working and the actions being completed. We can also then use this process to help determine if your goal for your lifestyle aligns with the goal that you're pursuing, or if any sacrifices or changes are required. It's important to honestly assess your willingness to make these adjustments as a lack of alignment in this area can also lead to additional internal conflict and hinder your progress. 
Trust that as you take consistent action towards your goal, your subconscious mind will gradually adapt and you'll develop the confidence and momentum needed to achieve your goal. So that's reason one. The second reason why people struggle to achieve their goals is a lack of a strong enough why. Without a compelling motivation, it can be difficult to maintain momentum and push through challenges that will inevitably arise. Your brain will perceive change as a threat and default to familiar patterns. So it's crucial to have a powerful reason to take risks and step out of your comfort zone. Your why should be evocative, something that resonates deeply and motivates you to take action. It could be a desire to provide a better life for your family, a drive to make a positive impact in the world, or a passion for a particular cause or pursuit. Whatever your why may be, it should inspire you and give you energy to keep moving forward, even when faced with obstacles or setbacks. If your why isn't strong enough, you may find it difficult to prioritize your goals and invest the necessary time or energy. You'll likely default to the status quo and miss out on opportunities for growth and achievement. However, if your why is compelling and authentic, it can provide the initiating force needed to propel you forward towards your goal and help you to develop the resilience and persistence needed to overcome challenges along the way. As an example, if you're considering sacrificing time with your family to pursue a career goal, it's important to weigh the costs and benefits carefully. If the exchange doesn't feel worthwhile, you may become exhausted and lose motivation. It's important to distinguish between fatigue, which can be overcome with rest and self-care, and burnout, which is resulted from prolonged stress and lack of alignment with your values. A strong understanding of your why can help you stay focused and resilient, even when faced with difficult choices or obstacles. Having a clear and powerful motivation for your goal can make all the difference in your ability to achieve it. It's not enough to simply know what you want. You need to understand why you want it and how it aligns with deeper values and aspirations. This understanding will provide you the fuel you need to stay committed even when the journey becomes challenging or uncertain. One of my favorite activities to do at the moment is as part of my evening routine, I ask myself, where in my day did I act in alignment with my values? And where did I not? I then look at where I didn't and use this as an opportunity for reflection and learning. By conducting this regular check-in with my values, I'm ensuring that I'm prioritizing action that is aligned with my values and therefore my energy remains increased and I am prioritizing the things that are important to me and I'm making consistent progress towards my goals. A third common obstacle I see to achieving goals is a lack of clarity about the steps required to reach them. It's important to have a specific and realistic plan of action that takes into account your unique circumstances and constraints. Just as there are multiple ways that I could drive from where I'm based in Canberra to Sydney, there are often many potential paths to achieving your goal. And the key is to choose the one that aligns with your vision and priorities. For example, If your goal is to improve your fitness, you might consider whether it's more feasible to wake up early for your morning workout or exercise after work. Considering your daily schedule, energy levels, or personal preferences, one option may be more practical and sustainable than the other. It's essential to choose an approach that fits your lifestyle and increases the likelihood of long-term success. Because if you are forcing yourself to do something that isn't alignment and is not sustainable, then you simply won't commit to it long term. By breaking down your goal into smaller manageable steps and identifying specific actions to take, you can also make progress that is more visible and achievable. This approach can also help you to prioritize your time and resources so you're focused on the most impactful action. And if you don't know what your first step is that you need to take, and funnily enough this happened to me just the other week, then find someone who has the results that you're seeking and connect with them. I am looking to do some work in a new space and I had no idea how to get started. So I connected with someone on LinkedIn who has the role that I'm looking to get more experience in and asked if they would be available and interested in connecting and sharing more details about their professional journey. They eagerly agreed and I have some really great tangible next steps that I can use to move forward on my journey. But while it might not be 100% certain that you'll ever achieve your goal, you can control your daily actions and gradually build momentum in the direction of your goal. 
The last reason I see for why so many people don't achieve their goals is because they struggle with the self-discipline required to take consistent action towards them. Self-discipline is the ability to prioritize long-term goals over immediate gratification, and it is an essential component of success. As we've discussed, pursuing your goals often requires stepping out of your comfort zone and overcoming resistance. Developing self-discipline can help you to overcome this resistance by enabling you to set clear priorities, establish productive routines, and hold yourself accountable. It also involves learning to push through obstacles and maintain focus despite distraction. While building self-discipline may not always be easy, it is the thing that will bridge the gap between your current reality and your goals. The good news is that discipline is a skill that can be learned, regardless of your background or past experiences. Even if you didn't grow up in an environment that fosters discipline, you can still develop this skill through practice, persistence, and a willingness to step outside of your comfort zone. Building discipline often involves setting small achievable goals and gradually increasing the level of challenge over time. It can also involve surrounding yourself with supportive individuals and seeking feedback on your progress. Discipline for me is not about perfection, but about making consistent progress towards your goals and building resilience along the way. And if self-discipline is something that's holding you back from achieving your goals, then you need to join my free three-day self-discipline challenge that I'm hosting at the end of January. Over the course of three days, you'll be guided through a series of tasks and exercises designed to help you gain greater control over your time, energy, and focus. You'll learn how to overcome procrastination, maintain focus, and stay motivated to achieve your goals. By the end of this three-day challenge, you'll have the tools to break your current behavior patterns and adopt new ones that better support your goals. Increase your productivity so you can focus on your goals and tasks, reducing distractions and procrastination, and improve your time management so you can better manage your time and avoid burnout. If this is something that could benefit you in this stage of your journey, then I'll pop the link to register in the show notes below. So to recap, to make progress on your goals in 2024, then you need to make sure that you have a clear vision of what you want to achieve and spend time visualizing the person you'll be when you achieve this goal to help your subconscious mind start to build a positive relationship with this evolved identity. You need to identify your motivations and the reasons why achieving your goal is important to you, which can provide the necessary drive and persistence to overcome your challenges. You need to identify your motivations and the reasons why achieving your goal is important to you. You'll know you hit the spot because you'll get this innate drive inside of you that will force you to take action towards your goals. Thirdly, you need to create a detailed plan of action that includes specific achievables that need to be taken to achieve your goal. And then lastly, you need to make sure you're cultivating self-discipline through practice, persistence, and seeking support and feedback from others. That's it for this week's episode. I'd love to hear your biggest takeaway or the goals that you're working towards in 2024. So send me a note on Instagram at Miff Galloway and let me know. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next week. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of the Actually You Can podcast. I so enjoy having you here. And I hope you've taken away powerful insights and tools that will support you to achieve your high level results. Now, before you go apply all of this wisdom in your life, I'd be so grateful if you are able to leave us a podcast review on the platform that you're listening to or share this episode with a friend. Your support means that we can help more self-led, high-performing individuals just like you expand what's possible for them. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on today's episode So please go on and shoot me a note on socials and let me know what you think. You can find me on Instagram at Miff Galloway. Now, go ahead and make those dreams a reality because actually you can.